Hi, it's me again to, tonight with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Tonight's video is going to be a little more in depth on the ellipse tool. I call it the circle tool. And when you're not clicked on anything, you don't see uh, the menu or toolbars or uh, command bars up here. But when you click on your ellipse tool, you get some more items. So let's just draw a perfect circle. I'm going to hold down my control key. Let's put that in the center of the page. Now, that's a perfect circle, but then you can make a pie out of it. You could do that. You could change this to any percentage of rotation. Let's do 345. Then you have just a little bit of a gap. With this done, you can grab this right here and it says change direction and it will give you just a piece of pie and not the ellipse itself. So let's back up here. There's our piece of pie and you can change it to anything. Let's make it 180 degrees. Okay. Now if you do this, it just flips it around because it's just, it's giving you the, the other side of the ellipse. So that's a pretty neat tool because you could go, you know, just 90 degrees and have a, a, a complete piece of pie or you can go 180 degrees and have half a pie. You'd go 270 degrees and have a, you know, all different. And then you can change direction and have the different pies. So that's a pretty neat tool. Now let's go back and we'll grab the ellipse tool again, hold down the control key and get a complete circle. But let's say we want a broken line. So we're going to grab this right here. And it's going to give us, I think 270 is the default. Now, if you change directions, you get the other, the other 90 degrees that's left, but you can change this degree to 180 and then you have half of a circle. So if you were trying to draw, ever need to draw half a circle or, you know, let's go 359. It's almost touching, but it's not touching right there. I don't know whether you'd ever use that, but you can completely, you know, you know, you know, have any degree. Let's go back to 270. Look at the other side, and then we just have that. You know, if you just need a an arc when you're drawing something, for instance, when I was drawing those uh, business card holders, I could have used this arch to uh, copy and duplicate and, and make another one and then cut that out, and then that would have been my thickness of my wood. Anyway, so play around with the ellipse tool. It's pretty cool. You know, nine times out of ten, you're just going to use the common ellipse tool and... Uh, Anyway, hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.